you to memorize what I like to call the magic ratios of genetics problems. They are phenotypic ratios for offspring. The ratios I want you to know are 3 to 1, 1 to 1, 1 to 2 to 1, 9 to 3 to 3 to 1, and 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. If you have a 3 to 1 ratio in the phenotypes of the offspring in a problem, you know right away that there is one gene involved, that one of its alleles has complete dominance over the other one, and that both parents are heterozygous for that gene. If you have a 1 to 2 to 1 ratio, it is exactly the same Punnett square as the one-to-one. -one. What I mean by that is it's one gene. Both parents are heterozygous for that gene. The difference is that the one-to-two-to-one -to -to -one tells you that it is an incompletely dominant gene. If you have a one-to-one -one ratio in the offspring, you're probably dealing with one gene, one parent heterozygous, one parent not heterozygous. The second parent would be homozygous something, but without additional information, you don't know if they're homozygous dominant or homozygous recessive. You don't know if the gene has complete dominance or incomplete dominance. If you have a 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio, you know right away that there are two genes involved on separate chromosomes. They're not genetically linked that both genes have an allele with complete dominance and that both parents are heterozygous for both genes. If you have a one to one to one to one ratio, that means that there are two genes involved. And what you probably have is one parent that is homozygous recessive for both, one parent that is heterozygous for both, that both genes have complete dominance, sorry, that both genes have an allele with complete dominance, and that they are on separate chromosomes. That's okay. I've been bitten. Ow, he has teeth. Ow, ow, ow. Somebody.